Hey guys, so I decided to start vlogging again. Well, I only did the one, but I actually did like it, but it kind of felt awkward to vlog. So I'm gonna give this another go to see how I can fit it into my life. I'm gonna take you downstairs. I'm gonna show you what my boyfriend did. So last night, he uh, he was here over the weekend, me, him, and my son, and uh, he installed these shelves for me under my stairs. I don't know if you guys remember from my first vlog, I'm pretty sure I talked about like all of my plans that I had for under my stairs in my entryway. Let me turn this way. Uh, so uh, I have not done anything really to this entryway except I added some nice uh, storage and some cute uh, flowers on top of my uh, shoe storage uh, shelves. And I, I don't know, I want to do like a formal like how to style an entryway because it's really coming together and I have some plans for it. I mean, I can give you guys a little tour. Let me turn this camera around. We'll start here. This is, this is like my focus, <laughs> my entryway art. So. You saw me build these two. I'll link that video so you can see me build that crap. Uh, and then just some dried flowers that I've been adding to. I mean, I got these on my first birthday here, these blue thistles, which are uh, like my favorite flower. And then I've been slowly adding to it and I think it's just so beautiful. This is temporarily in here. I'm gonna take that out. Uh, but for now, it works in there. Then I bought this, these flowers for myself for my own birthday last year. Uh, that And just these orange bits. And then these I've added to, to, to it later. And then these are some new dried flowers. This one as well, and these guys. And then these guys, which are very trendy in Scandinavia. And then this little piece of crap that cost me like 11 euro, but I thought it was just so beautiful. And it's a plant, but it looks like a feather. Anywho, I got this art. I gotta give you guys a formal, like, I don't know, a proper uh, picture and styling session thing with this, but. This is, this is my guy, I call him Anton. Let me tell you how much I love Anton. It's funny, cause like when I saw this photo, or this big piece of art, I, I got it secondhand, pretty much. Oh my God, all of my best finds in this house have been secondhand. So I was at the shop, and of course this thing stood out. Look how big and colorful it is. Uh, I was just like, what is that? And then I just went up to it and I like laughed. I was like, oh my God, who, who did this? Like, I, I thought the art was like, good and the the quality and the the craftsmanship but i just thought it was such a funny picture and then i just kept like looking at it and then i just like couldn't like leave and then at the time i was on the phone with my boyfriend and i'm like i don't know i just see this i gotta show you this this piece of art it's like so funny and then i sent him a photo and of course he hated it but like i literally could not leave like i just kept staring at it and i'm like i don't i don't know i think i like it i think i need to take it home and he's like uh well if you want to i was like no i i don't know it's just something about it and it's like like i think when you find art that speaks to you that just literally sparks joy or some kind of like deep emotional response like maybe that is the art for you and the fact that i could not like leave like, I, it just told me enough, like, okay, this is the purchase I needed to make. And I ended up getting another photo, another piece of art as well. And uh, that one's in the kitchen. And so I had next the, both of them next to each other and I'm just like standing there like, oh my God, I think I have to buy this. And then this um, random girl lady in the shop was like, oh my God, you need to buy that. Like, it's so good. And I'm like, I know, right? So I ended up buying them both. And of course I was on my bike. You see how big that is? Getting, getting that plus the other one home on my bike and it was nighttime, that was a lot. Um, <laughs> but I made it and like, I've had this for, I don't know, a few months now and I love it. Like every time I come in, it just makes me instantly smile. I don't care what mood I'm in, it just makes me happy. That's my little homie. And I don't know what this picture is trying to say, I don't really care. It's like I've given it my own truth, my my, my own story and for me it's uh, one of happiness, uh, like joy, like. I don't give a fuck, I don't know, it's just, I like it. Anywho, so this is my like really favorite spot. Like I love that you can see it as soon as you walk in the door. I have like these bins that I got from Hay. I love Hay and that bag as well. And it's just like really, look at the this color on that guy. I just put it up there because I thought it was so cool. So uh, my kitchen is a mess, please ignore that. Actually all of these bins are a mess, but I wanted to do this little ombre effect. So it's nice, so when you come in, you just get this uh, like blast of beautiful like pink pastel colors. 
And my inspiration was actually like Danish design because in Denmark and Copenhagen in particular, they're, it's funny because their design style is different from the Swedes. And Swedes are like traditional, like, or what you traditionally see as Scandinavian minimalism. You have like the birch, like really light wood and the white and the beige, it was just stark. And whereas the Danes are a little bit more mid-century, a little bit more like mixing and matching styles, like even adding like antique elements, like elements from the 70s and then color like you actually see color especially right now lots of pastels so I, I i don't know i feel like the danes have a little bit more fun and i like that kind of like traditional scandinavian what we see especially in the states design but i love this just pops of color it's like my personal style so just walking in right away it's like you get this burst of joy and then as you go in other parts of the house it's a little bit more muted but we'll see i'll probably add some uh, color upstairs Anywho, this has been a long, <laughs> like, chat. Oh my gosh, let me show you this. Oh my gosh, so I put this planner here. I also got this from the same uh, vintage shop. I think I paid 50 crowns for it. These are my uh, string of pearls, and this little lady, she's called Pearl. And then this is my lavender plant, which freaking bloomed like crazy. It's so huge now, and it smells divine. So this plant is called Pepper Ann. Uh, so pepper and and pearl my lovelies so i i really there we go i really do love coming in my entryway i just think it's just such a nice welcome but it's still very junky it's still very disorganized the fact that you can see straight in because of course i have like florida cindo uh florida cindo florida ceiling windows uh so a little bit of a mess let me show you under the stairs which is the reason we came down here so this is what my boyfriend did patrick he is just amazing. We actually did this together and it just came out so nice. So they're not done. These are extra shelves because I'm gonna actually also put shelves on this side. But we decided to only just do uh, one shelf because it was really late. And basically this is where my shoes are gonna live. So I just put them here just to see like how that would look. And I think it works well. And then this is just like what the rest of <laughs> The understairs looks like it's a freaking mess and I really need to like go through and these are not even all my shoes I still have shoes here this is where originally like all my shoes were and then I also have shoes in my bedroom sorry I'm washing right now so it's a bit of a mess so I have shoes here as well so that's what we were doing last night well I sat on the floor and I was handing him tools and telling him what to do and how to do it but it worked really well so one of our major first tests they say there's like an ikea relationship test like you go shopping in ikea as a couple and if you come out of that alive you're good if you come out of that without like getting into a major argument and breaking up you're good you two building something together that's also a test it's really funny literally you can google it ikea relationship test and you'll get some uh, stuff it's really funny and memes and stuff so we successfully passed that so i think i think we're i think we're gonna get married now no <laughs> uh but that was really good i'm gonna show you one more thing before i sign off for today i think you see my hair I decided to twist it because it's just been looking a mess and it's funny like since I, this is the first time I've twisted my hair since I decided to grow it out again because before I was just wearing it kind of like natural afro-y because I just couldn't be bothered I was just not inspired by my hair and it was just falling out so much and I was just like my hair was all over and I was just feeling sad and I'm like oh, I'm just gonna cut it again I'm like oh, I'm just gonna start wearing wigs and I don't know I just got defeated and over the weekend I was like you know what you just need to twist your hair it's long enough to twist it just twist it and I swear like I have my hair I can't, my hands are not in my hair now it's like before I couldn't like my hands was just always in my hair and I'm just like pulling out knots and like just that's why all the hair was everywhere but since twisting it it's been maybe three days or something i have not touched my hair so that makes me feel good it's funny i bought this cute little um like clip bobby pin whatever and uh, from in other stories i have a whole pack of them i've been experimenting with putting like two to three in there and i actually like the way it looks um so i'm glad about that i also bought a shirt i actually have it here let me set this down Oh shit, I was I bought this shirt. Let's move the sun. Okay. <laughs> I'll just get off the floor. It's a really cute shirt from In Other Stories. It has Paris around the neck. And I just like it because it's just like a basic white t-shirt, which is 
properly my personal style. So that's exactly what this shirt is and it's made from um, organic cotton. So it's a, um, I don't know, it's a really nice shirt and it's very well made. It was about 25 euro and really good quality, really nice. And I wore, I took a photo of myself in it to see if I like it. And I, I like it. I'm not, I'm not certain if I want to keep it, but I think I took a photo. I'll try to insert it uh, on this vlog. It's just, I don't know, it's really cute. Especially like styled up with some like mom jeans, some heels. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, but I do like that store, it's really nice. And they have like the cutest little dresses. Kind of reminds me a little bit like, cause I can't really shop at Reformation in the States. I don't know if you guys know about Reformation. Um, but I can't, I honestly can't really shop outside of the EU because I have to pay import duties in uh, Texas. So I, these days I try not to shop outside of the EU cause ain't nobody got time or money for that. You don't understand when I come back to the States, you don't know how much shopping I'm gonna do. You have no idea. I have lists already of things I'm gonna buy. I'm already saving money because I plan to come back with a bag full of stuff. Oh, let me show you what's gonna show you and then I'm gonna stop blabbing. So hair, yeah, I, last week, I decided that I wanted to braid my hair. Uh, I used to braid hair when I was like in junior high, high school. That's actually how I used to make money. So I haven't braided hair in a very long time. <laughs> but I thought I will braid my hair because I, I mean it's cute, but it's not really like me anymore, this hair. I think I have a twist in here, yeah. It's cute, I feel cute, but I want something different and uh, I don't know. I'm actually really considering getting a wig. So yeah, I don't know. But in the meantime, I bought some hair. I found some on Amazon Germany. But of course they had, if uh, to all my people who have had braids before, individuals, box braids, they had 1B, the color 1B, and they had the color four. And I'm like, but I need a two. <laughs> like, I really need a two, cause that is my hair color black. Like the 1B is just way too black and the four is too light. So I was having like really hard decisions. So I decided to get the four because I just didn't want jet black hair. But I don't remember it being this light. You guys see how light, it's like reddish brown. You see that color? Like it's pretty against my skin tone, but it's obviously not the same color as my hair. But it's fine because you won't really be able to tell once I put the braids in. But it's like a, it's like a pretty color, right? Like, like <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try to braid my hair, all of it, on like in two days. I'm just gonna spend the whole day braiding my hair. Obviously, when, when I would braid someone else's hair, it didn't take that long. But I'm look, I'm gonna be taking breaks. I really hope I can get it done in one day because I'm gonna go to Copenhagen this weekend. So yeah, hopefully uh, you'll see me with this hair in soon. Uh, and hopefully I look cute. I haven't worn box braids in a really long time. But yeah, I'm just looking for something new and something exciting. And I just want to be like, I just want to be like, like I feel cute. Don't get me wrong, but I just want to feel like sexy. I want to feel hot. Like I want a moment of feeling like an Instagram model or something. Like you feel me? Like you understand what I'm saying? Anywho, I think I'm gonna go and do some yoga. Uh, my boyfriend and I try to do joint yoga, like uh, via like online because uh, he lives in Copenhagen and I live in Malmo so we have a little bit of a long distance relationship so we do yoga together uh so yeah I'm gonna be doing that soon uh yeah so I will see you guys later <laughs>